I'd like to say a few words about my Willie. And I should tell you up front, Willie and I never really got along very well. I mean, on one hand, most of you never knew him, but take it from me. He was a real swell guy, you know? A solid, upstanding member of society. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, well, I guess there's no point beating around the bush, so let me give it to you straight. <laughs> Sometimes he was kind of a dick. There, I said it. <laughs> Maybe it's a little disrespectful, but I've known him since he was little. And he wasn't so bad then, but when he grew up, he got this attitude. Like, fuck it. You know? Like, he had an answer for everything. And just fuck it. Dude had serious tunnel vision. You can see how this might cause friction between us. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, even though he led a hard life, really hard life. He was also very generous, very easygoing, always ready to make a contribution to the pot. And he was very firm in his convictions, a real straight arrow, if you know what I mean. And so I'm happy to know that now he's in a better place. Rest in pieces, Willie. Dearly beloved, we gather here today to see Jack off to the afterlife. Jack was always a soft man, but he rose to the occasion, often thick-headed, socially awkward, and rarely seen in public, but always ready to come at a moment's notice. <laughs> I knew him intimately during the 21 long, hard years of his life. And although I have a bitter taste in my mouth from many of his friends, he was always guaranteed in a pinch. <laughs> I'm obviously choked up. <laughs> I remember one time, he helped me fill a hole in a friend's backyard. <laughs> He took to the job with great enthusiasm. My friend thought afterwards, why grin, she says, that he was quite slow, despite many claims that he was a relentlessly hard man. But if you really got to know him, and frustratingly so, he was a softer man behind closed doors. He settled down when he met his close friend, One-Eyed Willie, and seemed to find perpetual joy he perked up, if you will, almost bursting with admiration. <laughs> I must admit, it was an awkward relationship, but they grew closer over time. Discovering the intimate ins and outs of each other deep down. Tragically, upon Willie's death, Jack became introverted. A husk of the man he once was. <laughs> Some might say that is what killed him. Not long after, many forgot about him. He's left a hole in my life that still yearns to be filled with joy. <laughs> we are here not to remember his highs and lows, his hard times and his soft times, but to memorialize his grand achievements. So join me in one moment of silence to reflect on his transition his rebirth in the afterlife. He will always live on inside me. I do invite everyone to come up and view the open casket. <laughs> <laughs>